traditions can be passed down from generation to generation or created in the here and now. All it takes is a little bit of intention, imagination, and creativity. I'm Kimberly Whitman, and my passions are family, entertaining, and creating memories that last a lifetime. Join me now for Styling the Season. Together, we're going to celebrate the 4th of July in style. I'm going to show you some of my favorite styling tips for casual outdoor entertaining. I love to set up DIY stations for my guests. It's so much fun to give them something to do and participate in in the party. It's fun for adults and children alike. And around the 4th of July, or any time in the summer, I love to set up a popcorn bar. I simply fill brown paper lunch sacks with popcorn and then I put all sorts of condiments around from savory things like bacon bits and parmesan, extra salt, seasoned salt, garlic salt, to sweets like M&Ms that they can mix in. They can add their condiments to the bag, close them up, give them a little shake and enjoy for the rest of the party. a patriotic color scheme when I'm setting the table outdoors in the summertime. And I love to use a quilt as a tablecloth. In this case, I've got a red, white, and blue one on the table. They're wonderful because they can also be used as a picnic blanket outdoors if you're going to be sitting on the ground. I've layered them here with a red placemat and a blue and white enamelware plate. Enamelware is great because it works really well for outdoor entertaining. It's very, very durable, can't be broken. It can be put in the dishwasher, the microwave, the oven. You can find vintage pieces at estate sales and garage sales, or you can buy it new. I've layered the plates with seersucker red and white napkins. I love these napkins because I use them in the summer for red, white, and blue. I also use them during the Christmas holidays and Valentine's Day. Red is a great investment color for linens. I've also got individual salt and pepper shakers here in enamelware at every place setting. Using individual salt and pepper shakers is a really great way to elevate your tablescape. It makes your guests feel really special because they've each got their own salt and pepper to use. In the middle of the table, I have a no-fail centerpiece. Anyone can do this one. These white cola bottles were painted by a friend of mine and she gave them to me once to use as a centerpiece and I've used them so many times since. I've added 
one red Gerber Daisy from the supermarket to the middle and placed my five bottles in one enamelware tray. It's a really easy, no fail centerpiece and you can buy everything you need for it at the grocery store. I hope you enjoyed getting a peek at the way we celebrate the 4th of July, and I hope it inspires you to style the season in your own unique way. To whatever you celebrate, happy styling!